joining us here tonight. My name is Seth Adam. Nice to meet you. This is my friend Jerry Jono. And uh, it is our turn to play some music for you. So we're going to do just that. Uh, this first song is called Promise. You know, we're really just trying to stay on the land. Trying to, you know, continue to make wine. Right. And afford to make it. And then we partner with these, you know, like Seth Adam. huge and playing in front of 20,000 people. Part of what we hope to build from um, this event is, you know, the connection between local food, local wine, and local musicians. Yeah. You know? Duty responsibility. Be you have to, to cook something. Yeah, you have to cook something really good for me. Today. I am. I'm going to be cooking you a variation on fried rice using a grain called farro. <laughs> now, tell me a little bit about the Mindful Chef. The Mindful Chef concept came up. Uh, I was living in Westport, Connecticut at the mm -hmm. time, and I had just come back from living in France, and I wanted to have my own business, but I didn't want to have overhead. Okay. And I was racking my head for a, a name. And I sort of lived a mindful life to some extent. Okay. And I one day was sitting there and I said, the mindful chef. So the whole concept was to do dinner parties and events in people's homes mm -hmm. and never have to pay rent. That was my motivation. How has it been so far? I mean Well, uh, the summer I did five parties. I have a couple of other different things that I do, but this is what I really love doing. Right. I am a chef educator. I was teaching in the Westport continuing education program in okay. Milton. Um, I'm an energy consultant in how appliances operate and how to save energy. Mm -hmm. I'm actually certified by the state of Connecticut. Wow. Now you said that you lived in France for a little bit? I lived in France for about eight years, yes. Wow. And did, did you do any kind of, I mean, was it for cooking or was it for uh, It was cooking? love at the time. Oh. And she was a, a chef as well, okay. chef artist. So, I mean, has that trip uh, influenced you? Tremendously. I, I 
food wise? Maintain a house in France. So I, wow. I go back and forth quite often. I spent the entire winter in France this last year. Wow. And shot food videos, which was really lots of fun. That's amazing. Yeah, it was pretty amazing because I would go to the fresh markets all over the southwest of France. Yeah. And I'd walk in and I'm thinking, this is, it's June, isn't it June? Because the, the quality of the food there is just phenomenal. What are you cooking? I have a variation on a theme of what we, the Chinese would say fried rice. Fried rice. We've taken out the white rice and we're putting in a whole grain called farro. Mm. Now does this have anything in it or is it just That's just, just cooked that's it? cooked in water. You can cook that in okay. stock. Okay. Some people cook it in chicken broth or okay. lobster stock Ooh, or something like that. Or so beef stock, amazing. something like that. Yeah. And that is like they're like little sponges. They just right. suck up the flavor. Beef tenderloin that's been marinating for about over twenty four hours now with ginger, garlic, and olive oil. Eliminate some of the things if you don't like it, mm -hmm. or you can add, that's shiitake mushroom. Mm. You can add all kinds of mushrooms. You could take out the carrots, you could put in peas, you could put in snow peas, you can put in string beans, but they all have to be cut and diced exactly about the same size because what's gonna happen is each component is gonna be cooked at the same rate. Mm, and that's just a Chinese method of cooking. Right. So essentially you can use any vegetable or any kind of thing you want, but you have the only rule is you have to cut it. Yeah, keep it about keep the same size. Keep them all the same size so they all and, cook evenly. Right. And you don't cook everything together. You cook everything separately. Oh, okay. That way you know that that's going to be cooked. And oh. you know, it's, because if you put a carrot and an onion in there, the carrot is going to take longer to cook. Right. And the onion is going to cook faster. Hmm. These are very soft, so they're going to cook way fast. Okay. This has just been... Um, all boiled a little bit that's already been pre-cooked and the reason I do that is because that sets the color right uh, the bit. broccoli right because if you cook that uncooked it will look brown it will get a little nasty and now the same thing goes with the asparagus those as well. hold up a little bit better because they're stronger and then we have the standard it's like the trinity of Chinese cooking in certain aspects of the different regions that's garlic and ginger and scallion mm. so carrots onions asparagus, shiitake, red and yellow bell peppers, and broccoli. Wow. So it's like you can do whatever, it's like component, I call it component cooking. You don't want it, you want to put shrimp in, you put shrimp. You don't want shrimp, you put lobster. You, you get your full color of uh, exactly. vegetables Exactly, and it's too. beautiful to look at, it's yeah. very flavorful, and it's really, really healthy for you. Okay, I see what you mean. I'm speechless. With the farro, that's, that's how we call it, right? Mm -hmm. And the soy sauce, it really gives it a, um, I don't know, I can't explain it, it's like, how, how would you explain that? The Japanese explain it by saying umami. umami. That's, the only, that's the only way. It's. Okay, well, it's umami. <laughs> <laughs> and the crispiness of the vegetables, mix that in with the, with the, um, those spices that you put on that, uh, on the pork. Five it's spice amazing. Powder. It's like an explosion of flavor. Thank you. Yeah, it was very good. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Mm. Bon appetit. Mm.